Hi friends, our today's topic is partnership lesson 1 and in this video we are going to learn some of the very important question. So question number 1 has been already asked in bank luck 2011. So let's understand the concept and try to solve the problem number 1 and problem number 2. So the concept behind this is the investment, the investment and the time, suppose this investment and time by A. So investment and time by A and investment and time by B will be P1 is to P2 or PA is to PB. This is profit of A and this is profit of B. So let's try to understand the formula. So suppose there are two partners are there, partner A and partner B. So suppose A is investing 1000 rupees right a investment is 1000 rupees and a is investing for 12 months and suppose b income b investment is 2000 rupees and b is investing for how many months 9 months then the investment into time ratio the investment into time ratio will be nothing but equal to profit ratio so investment is equal to 1000 into 12 and then 200, 2000 into 9 will be equal to profit of A is to profit of B. Now this 1000 will divide this by 2 times and 3 into 3 and 3 into 4 and then again 2 is to 2. So 2 is to 3 will be profit ratio. So what I want to say here is your investment how much you will invest accordingly you will get the profit see suppose a is investing less a is investing thousand rupees so see the ratio of profit of for a is less b is investing more so b will be the ratio of profit is more right so in partnership your profit will totally depend upon your investment if your investment is more then your profit will be also more right so this formula you have to keep in mind so investment into time means suppose you are investing 1000 rupees for one year so how much total investment will be there 12000 rupees so in a similar way if you are investing uh, b is investing 2000 rupees for how many months for nine months so it will be how much 18000 rupees so these are the investment for a year and in the same ratio your profit will be divided right now let's try to solve question number one a start a business with 30,000 rupees, right? So what is the investment of A? So the investment of A is 30,000 rupees, right? And B joins him after three months. See, A start a business with 30,000 rupees. So if anybody or if any person is starting a business and from the beginning, then he will invest for how many months? 12 months or you can say one year, right? Okay, B joins him after three months. So B is joining after three months. So in 12 months, B is joining after three months. Means suppose, January, February and March already crossed, right? So B is joining after three months. So B will be able to invest for how many months? So B will be able to invest for nine months because B is joining after three months. So B will join after how many months? Three months. And so B money will be invested for how many months? So B can invest his money for nine months, right? And what is the B investment? B investment is one lakh twenty thousand rupees, right? Now we know income uh, investment of a into time of a is to investment by b into time by b will be profit of a is to profit of b so 30000 into 12 and 120000 into 9 will be profit of a and profit of b now try to divide this if 40 and 40 will get cancel right this 12 and 12 will get cancel and this 3 will divide by 3 times. So the profit ratio of A and B will be 1 is to 3, right? That means the investment of B was much more than the investment of A, right? And that's what we get the profit ratio. Question number 2, A starts business with 3,500 rupees, right? So what is the A investment? A investment is 3,500 rupees and A will invest for how many months? Because it is starting from the beginning. So A will invest for 12 months, right? After five months, B joined A as his partner. After a year, the profit is divided in the ratio three is to two. What is the B contribution in the capital? Right? Okay. 
So A start business with 3,500 and after 5 months B joins. So B will invest his money for how many months? 7 months. Right? So investment of B is not given. Right? And their profit ratio is given 2 is to 3. So they are asking what is the B share or what is the B investment or what is the B contribution. Right? So we know investment into time and again investment into time will be nothing but profit ratio right okay now investment is 3500 into time is 12 is to investment of b is ib i will write and b for after five months he is investing so he'll inv he will be able to invest only for seven months is equals to two is to three right now this seven five times it will go right so 500 divided by 500 into 12 is equals to i of b is equals to two by three right now if you cross multiply then 500 into 12 into 3 is equals to 2 into investment of b so investment of b will be 500 into 12 into 3 and divide by 2 this will go by 6 times so 6 into 3 is 18 and 18 into 5 is see 18 and 18 into 5 is nothing but 90 so it will become 9000 rupees so 9000 will be the investment by b right so 9000 is nothing but b investment you say or b contribution you say so option d is the correct answer thanks for watching the video